What's up guys, my name is Hexagon, also known as Super, and welcome to a 3D modeling guide. I might do a few of these, uh, basically this one is gonna be how to create rounded shapes on, well, not so rounded shapes, if that makes any sense. Uh, I have made an outline for this weapon um, that I took just from Google, I wanted to create a bullpup design, it's gonna vary somewhat in this. Uh, that I'm creating here, um, but it looks something like this. So as you can see, it's very square. Uh, the handle isn't really rounded anywhere except for here, which I've already done. Um, <clears throat> you can see I've already put some lines. So normally when I create a weapon, um, like I did before, I used a, a square or a cube in this case, uh, and I'd sort of shape it to the rough size and uh, then I put a lot of segments in and just drag them and it's a long and tedious work but it normally ends up looking pretty alright once you get the whole thing down. Uh, but that's not what we're gonna do today. Um, my mic stand keeps moving around. Stop moving you son of a bitch! Okay hold on, I'm just gonna put a glove on and tighten it. Don't buy crap mic stands guys. It will hurt you in the end. Alright, so we'll remove this cube here. Uh, and I'm gonna show you how to create rounded shapes, forms, place, yeah. Alright, so you see this handle here, it's very square. Again, except for this part over here. Um, we wanna uh, change the shape here, um, obviously. Now, there are a few ways you can do this. Um, you can use either... Um, choosing the points here, using the point tool, or point mode, rather. Uh, select the point you wanna, wanna drag out, and pretty much just drag them out like that, and then select, or deselect the top and bottom ones, because we want a grip here. And then look from above again to get the sort of correct line And there we go. Uh, that's pretty much how you create a rounded shape. You can see it's sort of rounded. Obviously, if you add more lines here, it will be rounder and rounder and rounder and rounder. Obviously, that adds more polygons, which means more data, and yeah, takes a longer time to render or use in whatever usage you plan. If it's a game, it's gonna take up more memory. Uh, but we're not gonna use this technique, at least not. I'm not gonna do it. I have another technique that I use. Uh, but I'm gonna show you uh, another technique that it's a, uh, that is available, uh, but in this case I'm not gonna use it. Uh, you select uh, a bunch of stuff here, so you can select the whole thing. Um, and you should be able to create a bevel extruder, at least I think you should. Uh, apparently that doesn't uh, apply here. Um, well, it sort of does, I guess. Uh, if you click rounding and guns here, you already have a rounded shape, sort of. Uh, but we'll get some issues. You can see here, we have a clipping. So we have to alter this. Oh god. Oh god. There we go. Nope. Okay, now we... Yeah. Okay, so as you can see, we have two rounded edges here. Not really what we want. What happens if we deselect that? Nothing really. Um, break limiter. Yeah, you can mix around with the roundness and tension and stuff like that uh, to try and get the, the look that you want. Uh, but in this case, it basically breaks up each side. So it will break up this side and this side and the bottom side, uh, and basically that's, um, yeah, it doesn't create a, an actual rounded shape. And I'm not sure if I can, yeah, I, I don't see a way of doing it with the bevel tool, but, you know, you can basically do this. Um, just select, for example, the top side here. We're gonna actually do another thing as well, because I'm gonna show you. Uh, you click, uh, Right click, English please, uh, 
select bevel, drag inwards, and you'll see pretty quickly here. Yeah, a lot of issues here. If you look there, you see the black part that appears. I'll just use this. You see the black part there. This here. That basically... Um, it clips. So they go into each other. The polygons here go into each other. Uh, which create um, a model that's bad for lighting purposes. For example, if you import this uh, when it's like this, blacked out, um, you will get lighting errors in, for example, uh, Unreal Engine 4. You don't want that. Can we change this by uh, changing this? Well, it only gets worse with fixed uh, distance. If you pick radial, that doesn't change anything at all. Rounding end guns. Nope, same, same th uh, thing there. Um, you can basically just move these and we'll, I'll show you what I mean. You select these here. These were the issue. You uh, make them smaller and this should fix the issue. So we'll try it again. Bevel and move inwards. Oh, well, oh, Jesus. Okay, so we can go further inwards now, which is good. We can change the angle here as well. Max angle, angle 90. And you can see here, this is the extrude. We want that much, and then you can go further in. Obviously, if you move them upwards or downwards, or even remove them, which will be bad, I guess, because, well, then you don't have the shape here. Um, you can get rid of this clipping issue. Uh, but this is not the way that I do it. It definitely isn't. I'm going to show you the way that I normally do things to at least shape the handle. Um, it's a very simple process uh, and it's very easy to do. Okay, so basically you select each side that you want to extrude. Uh, or want to round. So I want to round from the top to the side. Also to the bottom, but we're not. We're going to skip this. Uh, because I, I think you get the point if I just do the sides here. So I'll select the ones on the side here. Uh, I think I've selected all of them. No, nope, one missing. There we go. Um, and we'll just focus on this part here. Because you don't really need to see the other side, you get the point with three sides. Uh, right click and use extrude. For this purpose, I'm going to use five centimeters, but you pick whatever uh, offset you think is good for your uh, model. Basically, it's the height or uh, the length of which the extrude will, well, extrude. Um, fairly easy stuff. So, apply this, and you can see, oh, it's not really round. Well, this is where another tool comes into play. Uh, very, very simple tool. You go to Mesh in at least R15, but you probably know the tool. Uh, it's called uh, Create Polygon. You go to Point Mode. And then you just create square polygons. That's pretty much it. You do this all the way. Uh, so we're going to do uh, two here. I think that's enough to show uh, what I'm talking about. So we have two here. But as you can see, when, when I look from the side, it's not really uh, rounded. And we can do another thing to help. We can use something called a knife tool, which is also under uh, create tools, uh, mesh create tools, uh, knife. What you do is you select each side and then drag it to the other. Obviously, I'm going to remove the constraint here because I don't want it absolutely straight in this case because we're at a slight angle. Um, okay, so you have these here and we'll... Uh, no, we'll, we'll do it like that. I think you get it. Actually, just, just do it as the Nike commercial says. Um... <clears throat> Okay, so now what you do, you select all of these in the middle here, and then what you can do, sort of move it outwards, make sure it's in line. There are tools that you can use to make this be even more in line. And then so deselect the top ones and bottom ones, as we did before. Uh, look from the top again. Uh, drag this out a little bit. I think that's good, maybe. 
and there we have it this is a rounded shape mm, you can do this um, if you want the rounded edge to go even further out basically just select these and uh, after you extrude select whatever place you want to be uh, even further out or you know basically extend the curvature um, just change the uh, size of each side uh, extruded that you want to change if that makes any sense at all i'm i'm rambling a bit uh, let's just go ahead to the next part but i think you get what i'm talking about if you don't get it um I i'll explain to you in the comments if you if you're having any issues uh, and we can do the same thing here basically go to mesh again or you can select it from the most recent tools and use create polygon drag from each point again creating squares which are polygons in this case and you have your shape and we can do it the same way again you know just use the knife and um, drag points between it I'm gonna make a point there and a point there and a point there and that's pretty much it you can then select these points of course using the select tool not the knife tool um, and drag it outwards no, I'm not dragging it outwards. What am I doing? Here we go. I think. Uh, yeah, there you can see. It's sort of rounded. And the more uh, the more knife lines you use, if you want to call it that, uh, the rounder the shape will be. And this is basically just if you haven't created a rounded shape. And you can do the same sort of thing. Use the knife for different purposes. As you can see here, it's supposed to be very rounded, but I didn't create a round shape. So what you can do is make it rounder by using the uh, knife tool and then select whichever area or just, you know, draw some lines here. So you can see I've drawn all these lines in here. Uh, and you can select the parts that you want to sort of round out and you can use the select tool and select individual points drag them as you want and add more lines if you want to um, if you want to make it uh, if you don't care about the uh, the polygon amount you can basically just use the subdivision surface at least I think so I've upgraded recently from 11.5 to 15 so I think they should keep the same um, uh, function so drop this in there and you can see it doesn't look perfect because it's not that it's not a model that's applicable for this. But more importantly, it doesn't always round it out. However, as you can see here, it is very round. And you can use this basically uh, pick out each um, each object of whatever you, you're making. Uh, create these very simple um, let's see if it works here it should work uh, so we'll create a uh, polygon between these two points here and that should in theory uh, that looks weird we'll create another one okay so we have a flat surface here but if we say uh, do a knife cut from here to here and then select those points and drag them out it should be a lot oops selected too many points there we go it should be a lot rounder and there you go it is actually very round now uh, so that's one of the one of the things you can use um, <clears throat> but as you can see here when we click on this one uh, well that doesn't really work but we can see here um, you add a lot more polygons you can see all of them here the the normal ones that should be here are the blue lines and the additional ones are the grayed out lines so they add a lot of unnecessary lines as you can see here we don't really need these lines uh, it could basically just be a square um, and it, it's not really a useful tool for this scenario using it on a whole object at this size and this complexity so we're absolutely not gonna use that but it's a tool that could be used on individual parts such as maybe do the handle alone 
um, and some other parts. But yeah, this is gonna be. These are my sort of ways that I do uh, rounded shapes or rounded edges, if you will. Uh, if you want more sort of beginner style uh, guides in this format, please give a like and a comment in the, uh, a comment in the comment section. Yeah, that that makes sense, doesn't it? Oh, anyway, if you like it, um, make sure to give it a like at least. Um, and I'll do some more stuff like rendering, lighting and stuff like that. So, you know, just tell me what you want to see in the future. And I will see you guys in the next one.